Hi guys, welcome to Bargain Shipyards. Um, so yeah, haven't been boat building much lately because I've been house building. Got to make some uh, money, you know how it works, eh? No money, no boat building. So yeah, more of boat building, house building. Uh, I've had a few days off now, so I did a few jobs in town actually. I couldn't even have my week off the way I wanted to have my week off because I slapped a few other jobs together because, you know, people calling and stuff. And uh, So I got in a couple of days on the boat and this is where I'm at. Um, basically, these are the bulkheads that are going to hold the Akkus. This is, uh, this is uh, make or break, Pacific Pro. Symmetrical vaca because it was built as a canoe for just going pottling around, to, you know, and paddling and stuff. But I just didn't like it, it was too tippy because it's a flat bottom because I didn't know what I was doing. Now I'm going to put the uh, Why Not's armor onto him and I'm going sailing with the Lashank rig. So basically, here we go. These are full bulkheads. So I'm dividing this vaca into three uh, separate uh, watertight uh, compartments. And this is the way we work, and this is all popular ply. And uh, let's just speak about uh, monocoque uh, construction or plywood boat design and the differences between... Uh, uh, there's, there's a huge difference between traditional wooden boat building and uh, modern plywood boat building. Uh, epoxy ply boat building is monocoque. Uh, that's where strength comes from. Monocoque is strong stuff. Monocoque is modern cars, is modern aeroplanes. Uh, many insects are monocoque. Beetles, they are full shell. That's a monocoque. Their body, they don't have a skeleton like we have. They have just a frame. Just a, They live inside the shell. And that's the strength. Because it's one piece and it's rigid. And it holds together because it's one piece all working together. And that's what monocoque is. And that's what modern plywood boat building is. And that's what carvel or traditional or clinker boat building is not. Over there, there's a lot of movement of the planking over the frames. Everything moves. Uh, it's good stuff, it's strong, it's beautiful, I love it. Uh, just doesn't fit me at the moment. Maybe a day will come and we move over to solid wood, to traditional building, I don't know. At the moment this fits me, and also this is, this can be car topped, you know. There's our workhorse, you know. We built boats for him, you know. We need boats to go on him, we need light boats, we need simple boats. It's all plywood and it's all poplar, and poplar is strong stuff, and it's good stuff, and, and I think poplar pliers, <laughs> okume, okume marine, is not, I don't think it's more, a lot resistant than poplar ply. Okume has a very low, very low lot resistance and I don't know why everybody's going on about Okume when, when plywood, uh, when poplar ply is almost the same uh, lot resistance. So I, here at Balkan Shipyards, we build boats with poplar ply and uh, I believe you come out with a lighter boat and a stronger boat and definitely a cheaper one. So this is what, uh, this is make or break and this is what it is. So what we got over here is, there's a six mil bulkhead that the Aka comes smack on top. These are two ribs. These two ribs are eight mil. Uh, so they were MDO ply that I had, so I just sanded them, glass taped and filleted. Glass taped, filleted both sides, glass taped only one side. Now what's gonna happen is, here's a template. This is a cardboard template for the next uh, half of the bulkhead, whatever you'd call it. Um, that gets made out of another six mil ply. That gets filleted, glass and welded, glass welded onto the hull. Yeah. And then you get these, and then filleted and glass taped onto these two ribs. I can get my hand in and no problem. I can glass tape it onto here and there. When I'm finished doing that, that gives a tremendous rigidity. Um, that's why, that's why a straight plate of metal, whatever you'd call it, uh, is very floppy. But if you turn it into an angle iron, yeah, 90 degree, if you give it, it suddenly becomes super rigid. And that's what we're doing over here, and that's what plywood boat building is. 
So these two libs really stiffen up that guy. And uh, the minute I put the minute I put the other half on, these two become solid concrete. And then if you imagine that there's a top side now the I have to lay fleaboard. So the fleaboard lays up to the to the top of the bulkheads and the uckers sit on top of the boat, okay? So the minute the minute the new top side comes all along here, yes, with a with a with a new shear clamp at the top, solid wood shear clamp at the top. So these guys will get notched out slightly and the shear clamp will be running through over here at the top of the plywood. Then this gets rigid also like that. And then the weight of the acker that's lashed down over here and over there is compressing on this loop, that loop, and these two bulkheads. That's going nowhere. That is so strong and it weighs almost nothing. And that's what strength is all about, eh? I mean, strength comes from strength comes from from, 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 from light angles. When you, when you turn material in light angles and when you bend sheet metal into like this and like that and you do all kind of stuff, that's what gives stuff strength. Uh, then you got, then distance is another way of making things strong. If you have, uh, if you take for example truss design. Uh, so on a truss you got, uh, I think they're called, uh, I don't know what they're called. So you got the top plate and the bottom plate. If it's a truss for a bridge or if it's truss for a roof or whatever the hell. So you got the top one and you got the bottom one and you got all these wiggly things in the middle, the flange or I forgot the names, you know. It's the distance between the top plate and the bottom plate. The further apart, the stronger it is. And that's all it is. It's, 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 the physics of design is, is, is actually simple stuff, you know, if you really get your mind into it. You don't have to know all the formulas and be some professor or stuff. You just, it's just logic, eh? it's just pure logic. Um, I don't know, just think about it, you know. The further away and the more 90 degree turns and the stronger it is. And monocoque is what you want because monocoque is lightweight. Uh, poplar ply is what I want because it's cheap. Uh, simple epoxy is what I love because that's what I can get. And uh, this is the boy, so uh, I got to, we're going to get back, I've got to get back to the job uh, on Monday now. Uh, the tiles arrived on site, i uh, got to tile the roof now. So it'll be about a week, then I've got a lot of, uh, I've got some wind bracing to do inside the house. I've got a lot of messing around. In a week I hope to finish that job. And then I've got all of August to work only on why not, on make or break, so excuse my English. Uh, and then by the end of August I've got another big roof. I hope to launch. Uh, I hope to launch by the end of August, guys. Uh, I want to get uh, make a break done, uh, putting on why not's armor. There's not a lot of work really, but there's a lot of thinking, and uh, then I got all these little dinky jobs coming in all the time, and there's stuff to do. So yeah, we'll just try and do it all, and then I got to build the Lashank League, and uh, I'll show you how it goes, guys. <laughs> Keep with us, uh, stay in touch, like, subscribe, and all the rest. And take care, all the best. Balkan Shipyards. We'll kick it. Pacific Pro. Make or break.